here. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, if you're here live or if you're watching this on a recording, um, I it's uh, let's see, it's uh, January 11th at 9 a.m. my time, and we're going to talk about recipes today. If you've been following along with us in this Eat Clean 2018 challenge, I think I got that down. Um, We've already talked about how 9010 started, the importance of ingredients. We did that little quiz with the, the, um, the nutrition facts on the left and the nutrition facts on the right. And, uh, and so you kind of see how important ingredients are. And then we talked about the 9010 system and the green tier and the yellow tier and the red tier and how they help you decide what ingredients are good and what ingredients are bad and how that whole system works. And now what I want to talk about is recipes. So, you know, once you understand the, you know, what ingredients are good and bad. And then it's like, well, okay, how do I, you know, how do I eat this way now? I have to go like, you know, cook things that have these ingredients in them and don't have these, this junk in them. And, or I have to find products that have good ingredients and not, not good ingredients. And so what I want to talk about is our recipes and then other places that you can find recipes. So here's the deal. You do not have to use only 90, 10 recipes from our website. You can use recipes from anywhere. Um, because if you, use recipes that have real ingredients in them, they're probably gonna work for 90-10. In fact, a lot of the recipes I used when I was first starting to eat a healthier um, were from Martha Stewart cookbooks. And a lot of times the only things that I had to change was uh, they would use white rice or white pasta and I would change it out for brown rice and, and whole grain pasta and things like that. But for the most part, they use real ingredients. They use fruits and vegetables and spices and um, lean meats and, and all that kind of stuff. So you can find recipes just about anywhere. And if you look on the tiers, you can kind of switch some things out to change out the things that might not be, maybe it's a yellow tier thing and you can make it completely green. So you could go Martha Stewart cookbooks, you can go to paleo cookbooks, you can go to like just about any cookbook and you can look at it and see if you can find stuff. There's also a great website called The Gracious Pantry. We love a lot of her stuff. That's Tiffany McCauley and she does an excellent job over at uh, The Gracious Pantry. Um, she's got another one called That's Low Carb that uh, she does low carb type recipes, which totally fit into the 9010 criteria as well. But we have a website with over 700 recipes that are 9010 compliant. Okay, so I want to show you that a little bit and show you some of the search features of that. And I also want to tell you that um, what you're going to find in our recipes is that they're going to be mostly green tier. We do use some yellow tier things. The things that we use that are yellow tier are often honey, um, maple syrup, uh, sometimes uh, some yellow tier meats like bacon or sausage we might use in, in a recipe, but we keep our recipes under 150 calories of yellow tier per serving or somewhere around that. So um, you, ha you have to look at it yourself and decide, you know, did you eat some other yellow tier? But if that recipe was the only thing you ate, you won't blow your yellow tier most likely just by using one of our recipes. I would say probably 75% of our recipes are 100% green tier, and then the others have uh, some things in them, or they're almost 100% green tier, and the amount of yellow tier is super, super low, like maybe some honey in the recipe is, is pretty common, okay? So let me show you our recipes. I'm gonna share my screen here, and I'm gonna go to our homepage. Okay, so this is the 9010nutrition.com homepage, www. 9010nutrition.com. Hopefully you guys already know that. You have a login to this website. You can log in up there. Okay, so right here, recipes. This menu is the same on mobile. It's just, you know, obviously looks a little different on mobile. It kind of drops out to the left. But this right here, recipes. If I click on that, it's gonna take us to our main recipe page. It's usually is a little bit slower when I'm streaming like this, but this is our main recipe page. It's the all recipe search is what comes up first. And that's what you get to if you were to click this button, it takes you to, this is, this is like the home page of searching, okay? Uh, on mobile, this whole recipe search menu that you see on the left side is actually up above and it's like a drop down menu instead of a visual menu like this, because it's mobile, so it's easier to do it that way. So you'll, you'll have all the same things in in that now you can search by keyword and this is like all of our recipes so you can see there's like 46 pages of recipes here just tons and tons of recipes you can search by keyword just type in whatever keyword you want and this thing is going to automatically reset itself to show you the things that you wanted to see OK, 
okay? It's gonna search everywhere in the recipe, not just the title. It's gonna search, if you put in the word uh, chili, it's gonna search everywhere in it. So you might wanna not want to do really broad searches in the keyword search, like chili, because there's a lot of recipes that have chili powder in them, and you're gonna bring a lot of those up as well. So you might want to um, go down into one of these things that's a little bit more uh, narrowed down before you do your keyword search, okay? So <clears throat> if you're not just gonna search in all the recipes and search by keyword, you can go here to recipe type and click on that, and it's gonna bring up um, recipe types like dairy-free, gluten-free, uh, instant pot recipes, vegetarian recipes, vegan recipes. And if you click on any of these, like I'm gonna click on this vegan recipe, it's gonna bring up another search page with a keyword search where you can search it just in all of our vegan recipes. So I can do jackfruit in our vegan recipes because jackfruit is one of the things that uh, you might find in a vegan recipe. And it's gonna bring up everything that has the word jackfruit somewhere in the recipe. So this vegan chili has some jackfruit. I can see it actually right there. These vegan jackfruit rice bowls, this Thai pizza has some jackfruit on it. You know, So these are all the recipes that have that word in it. So you can search any of those, and now it's only searching inside of vegan. It's not searching all of our recipes for the word jackfruit. These are vegan recipes that have jackfruit in them, okay? So recipe type. You can also search by courses. So you can narrow down by courses and then do a keyword inside of that course. So maybe you want to search appetizers. You're looking for an appetizer for having some friends over or something like that, and you can click uh, and search by keyword just inside the appetizers. You can also do cuisines. So different types of cuisines, Mexican and Italian and all that kind of stuff show up here. Dressings, game day, pastas, Mexican, Italian, Russian, sandwiches, salads, tacos, soups and stews. So it's narrowing down to a certain type of thing for you, a certain type of cuisine, and then you can do a keyword within that. You can also do something that's very powerful, this ingredient search right here. This is one of my favorite things about the website, actually. This has an actual drop-down right here of all of our ingredients that are used in our recipes. And so you could actually say, oh, you know, I've got some frozen broccoli or something in my um, pantry right now. Let's see here, frozen broccoli. It's going to actually bring up all the recipes that use frozen broccoli in them. So if you've got something in your pantry that you want to be able to, uh, you know, use up, you can find recipes that have that particular thing in it. And then we've got an advanced search here that allows you to search by multiple things at the same time. So you can actually search by uh, ingredients. You could pick an ingredient. You could pick a recipe type, a course, and a cuisine, all of those. And it will find only the things that have all of those in it. So you've got tons and tons of ways to search for recipes, and there's literally over 700 of them in here. Now, here's the other thing I'll tell you. I'm going to stop this share. I'm just going to say, the other thing is, is that you don't always have to use a recipe, okay? So don't feel like, oh, I'm getting into this clean eating thing. I'm getting into this 90-10 thing. Now I've got to, you know, I have to have a recipe for every single day. You can totally use what we call the one, two, three, eat, which is like a meat, a starch, a vegetable. Like, just cook it. It's okay. It's totally cool. We don't need you to use some kind of super complicated recipe. And also the recipes on our website, there's tons and tons and tons of them that are not complicated, okay? So we're not looking for you to become a chef all of a sudden. If you're feeling like, oh, I don't really cook, a lot of this stuff is super easy. It's not, this is not chef type stuff, okay? Um, we have tons of simple recipes. And also if you don't wanna use a recipe, you just wanna throw something together that you already know how to throw together, just follow the tiers. That's it. So if you have other recipe sources that you want to post about, if you found some great recipes, that's totally cool too. If you want to convert some of your own recipes, we'll help you do that. But that's how you find recipes on the 9010 site. Let me see if there is anybody asking questions before I go here. All right, cool. So thank you guys again for being on and I'll see you later.